on the sixth day of novena prayer to saint joseph let us do a spiritual assessment of the life of saint joseph reflecting on the theme of awareness admiration and acceptance based on the in the insights that comes from the letter of pope francis the first is awareness the word awareness used in the bible in reference to becoming conscious but also it invites for a sp- deeper spiritual awareness of god's presence as it is said that nearly 365 times in the bible the phrase do not be afraid i am with you is used awareness makes us conscious of god's ever abiding presence among us saint joseph was aware of god's presence in his life so his every decision was guided by the will of god awareness is about keeping awake in our spiritual life and paying attention to our physical reality as we journey with joseph we become aware of the life of saint joseph that is hidden in the scriptures but with a reading and reflection we come to know his struggles responsibilities personality relationships history culture that he lived in his attitudes and joys of his life today let us spend time in silent meditation in becoming aware of god's presence among us so that this spiritual awakening may lead us into making right decisions and making healthy choices in our life saint joseph make us aware of god's presence and guide us with your wisdom to follow and to be faithful to god's love secondly admiration i would imagine that saint joseph would have become aware of the presence of the sacredness in his own family with mary and in child jesus when he became aware of who jesus really was with the help of the angel the shepherds the magi he began to admire both mary and the child jesus he was ready to do everything to protect them and to save the sacredness god's holy one within his family in the last part of each day's novena that we recite we say the litany of saint joseph by which we show great admiration to saint joseph i must tell you personally inviting all of you to join me in this novena i had limited information about the life of saint joseph but this novena has really helped me to discipline myself to prepare well by reading and reflecting on each day's theme so that i can give my best to you in sharing the insights so that everyone could benefit from this year of saint joseph so my witness is that i must confess i could experience the guiding presence of saint joseph and now i truly admire the life of saint joseph we ask ourselves how often do we ignore the sacredness of life 
and people in our family and in our community. We are all created in the image and likeness of God, and often we fail to show our admiration to God's presence among us and in this entire creation. Thirdly, acceptance. Pope Francis has given beautiful insights in Joseph's role as an accepting father, and I encourage you to read this section and reflect upon it. Pope Francis says that Joseph accepted Mary unconditionally and accepted the advice of the angel. We admire the courage of Joseph to accept Mary, where he had to rise above the social, cultural and religious norms of his time. Acceptance of Joseph of God's will is not done with naivety but in profound faith. Joseph was proactive, passionate and persevered in his acceptance of his role in God's plan of salvation. Acceptance in spiritual reality depends on our authentic faith in God's will. We have many tools in the tradition of the church used by the holy men and women to accept God's will, that is, prayer, reflection on the word of God, spiritual direction, counseling, participating in the sacraments and retreats. Today, let us pray for a deepened awareness, humble admiration, and authentic acceptance like that of St. Joseph that may help us to grow into a healthy spirituality of life. And let this prayer may lead us into our novena prayer. Let us pray. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted His only Son. In you, Mary accepted, placed her trust. With you, Christ became human. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Theme 6. Joseph, Foster Father of Jesus, Protecting Mary and Jesus. O Lord, open our hearts, that we may receive your graces. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. When Herod died, an angel of the Lord suddenly appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who are seeking the child's life are dead. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was ruling Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there, and after being warned in a dream, he went away to the district of Galilee. There he made his home in a town called Nazareth, so that what had been spoken through the prophets might be fulfilled. He will be called the Nazarene. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let the Word of God lead us into a short reflection. What are the scary moments of my life? How did I respond to them? Where are the moments I have found God in my life? How did my faith help me to overcome my fears, my anger, and my darkness of life? 
Let us pray. Brave Saint Joseph, you as the earthly protector of the Holy Family, guided Mary and child Jesus into safe places. You not only listened to God's voice, but also acted upon it. Protect our families from all dangers and help us to imitate the Holy Family, so to remain united especially when our families are on the verge of separation or breaking apart. Help us to love one another and care for each other, especially those who are close to me in my family. May our homes be filled with love, peace, and happiness. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, come and stay with us and make our home your dwelling. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Renowned offspring of David. Pray for us. Light of patriarchs. Pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God. Pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God. Pray for us. Diligent protector of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph most just. Pray for us. Joseph most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most strong, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of our designs, pray for us. Glory of home life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Solace of the wretched, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Jesus. Let us pray. O God, in your ineffable providence, you are pleased to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beg you, that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Memorare to Saint Joseph. Remember, O most chaste spouse of the Virgin Mary, that never has it been known that anyone who asked for your help and sought your intercession was left unaided. Full of confidence in your powerful intercession, I hasten to you and beg your protection. Listen, O Foster Father of the Redeemer, to my humble prayer, and in your goodness hear and answer me. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, keep us from all evil, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen.